is all set to file his nomination from Coimbatore. Now, if you talk about Coimbatore, it is a ho hotly contested seat in the state of Tamil Nadu. And also, this is uh, one of the region where Prime Minister Modi visited twice in the last two months. CNN News 18's Purnima Murli is now joining us on this story. Purnima, a very good morning to you. At what time can we expect Anamalai to file his nomination today? <laughs> Well, BGP's Coimbatore uh, candidate Anna Malai is all set to file his nominations at around 11 a.m. At around 10.30 a.m. Uh, here, uh, huge crowds are going to gather uh, as uh, Anna Malai will be going to file his nomination. Remember, Coimbatore is a hotly contested seat uh, this time around, not just in Tamil Nadu, but it's a, it's a constituency that's been keenly watched uh, nationally because uh, the BJP has given importance to Tamil Nadu more so in Coimbatore where Prime Minister had visited twice in the uh, in the last two months so clearly uh, Coimbatore is in focus uh, and it's going to see a tri-cornered contest uh, DMK, AIA, DMK and the BJP it's going to be a tough battle ahead for uh, the candidates from all these parties and today Annamalai will be filing his nominations at around 11 a.m. and party uh, cadre are slowly gathering outside uh, as Annamalai will enter the office to file his nominations. After Annamalai, uh, the DMK candidate Ganapati will also be filing his nomination. We'll have to see uh, how the situation is because in Uti two days ago, there were clashes that broke out between the BJP and the AIA DMK uh, and uh, police had to resort to mild uh, 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 mild uh, Lathi force uh, there in Uti. Today, because uh, both uh, the, the DMK and the BJP candidates will be coming here to file nominations, uh, you can see at least 100 police personnel have been deployed in and around the place to uh, uh, ensure that no untoward incident takes place. Uh, 11 a.m. is uh, BJP's uh, uh, slot and 12 noon is DMK's time slot. We'll have to see how the day pans out. But Coimbatore continues to be a key constituency uh, here in Tamil Nadu uh, for, for the viewers and also for uh, at, at the national level because Anna Malay is making his debut in the parliamentary elections this time. Right. Also, Purnima, the BJP seems to be very confident ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. If we talk about the state of Tamil Nadu, the BJP is saying that there could be surprises uh, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. Absolutely. Uh, BJP continues to maintain that uh, this time around uh, the party will be making inroads. Remember, the party's vote share uh, as per uh, the 2021 records is uh, around three. Uh, over 3% and the party now says that this time the vote share will reach double digit and that uh, there will be surprises as the NDA will definitely make inroads. BJP uh, will make inroads which is why heavyweights from the BJP from Annamalai to Tamarisai Soundarajan, all of them have been fielded by the party for the 2024 Lok Sabha polls. Uh, Annamalai uh, is from Coimbatore region, uh, this is his hometown which is why uh, we've seen how the BJP tried to focus on uh, Coimbatore and the BJP's focus is uh, primarily the western part of Tamil Nadu which is Coimbatore. Kanyakumari is another place where the BJP made inroads in 2014 and Chennai uh, constituencies are also something that the BJP is eyeing. Uh, so we'll have to see how it works for the BJP. All eyes on the 19th of April because voters will decide the fate of uh, the BJP and also in Coimbatore they will decide the fate of Anna Malay. But Anna Malay seems to be confident that this time BJP will make surprises as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. Also, Purnima, how is the political uh, atmosphere in Tamil Nadu currently? Is there a wave of change that you can witness? <laughs> well, if you look at uh, various uh, opinion, uh, uh, various uh, uh, exit polls and opinion polls, it says that as of now, it's an advantage uh, uh, DMK primarily because uh, the AIA, DMK and the BJP have decided to snap ties and political analysts are of the view that had the BJP and the AIA, DMK been in an alliance then they could have perhaps given a tough fight uh, to the DMK. Now with uh, the enemies of the DMK not staying united, uh, political analysts say that well this could also be uh, yet another win for the DMK but whether the DMK, uh, uh, DMK continues to maintain that they will, keep, uh, they will sweep elections this time around. Last time they won 39 of the 40 seats this time they are confident that they will uh, win 40 of the 40 seats. Whether that will happen or whether uh, the BJP will be uh, will be making inroads, all eyes on uh, the 4th of June, which is when the results will be out. 
but aggressive campaigning by the BJP. We've seen uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visiting the state uh, at least six times this year and the focus has been uh, on uh, Coimbatore, which is where Anna Malai will be contesting from, which is where he is contesting from and this is also his hometown. So we'll have to wait and see whether BJP will be making inroads or whether uh, DMK uh, will sweep elections. Uh, that's going to be an interesting uh, battle here in Tamil Nadu with BJP, uh, BJP's heavyweights this time around contesting on behalf of the party for the Lok Sabha polls. Right, uh, Purnima. So please stay with us. We are currently showing the live visuals of uh, K. Anna Malai, who's currently visiting a temple right ahead of uh, filing his nomination. Remember, he uh, will be contesting the upcoming Lok Sabha elections from uh, Coimbatore. Purnima, coming back to you. So do you think the DMK's anti-Hindutva stance is going to hurt the party in these uh, Lok Sabha polls? Well, as far as Tamil Nadu elections are concerned and as far as voters of Tamil Nadu are concerned, uh, Sanatna Dharma and uh, the statements made by uh, Udayanadi Stalin on Sanatna Dharma may not really have an impact on the party's image because uh, in Tamil Nadu, which is also called the Dravidan Nadu, we've, uh, we've seen uh, the Dravidian movement uh, where they've always time and again opposed Sanatna Dharma, which is why DMK uh, continues to maintain that what Udayanadi said is not his own uh, uh, statement or opinion, it's what the party believes in, it's what, uh, it's what Dravidian ideology is all about. Uh, that that uh, eradicating uh, social discrimination, that's something the party believes in. Social justice is what uh, the, is, is why the Dravidian movement in fact gained momentum in uh, the 1950s and therefore uh, they said that this is not going to have uh, an impact in Tamil Nadu. But uh, BJP maintains that uh, DMK, uh, not, just one minister, uh, not just one minister, there are several senior leaders of the DMK who've uh, uh, made uh, anti-Hindu uh, remarks and therefore this will have an impact. Uh, whether Sanatana Dharma issue will impact uh, the DMK or uh, will it be an advantage? Uh, uh, will it uh, will it be an advantage for the BJP to make inroads? All eyes on how the on which way the voters vote, uh, which is on the 19th of April. All right, Purnima, thank you so much for getting us all those details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on this story.